Hey guys, Rushy here. How you all doing? So we're getting straight into uh, non V trigger um, back rise now. So your opponent's getting shifty, getting a bit, getting a bit tricky. They're mixing it up. They're back rising a lot now. Back rising causes problems because it's a delayed wake up. Not not completely delayed because you can do no rise, which is like the the ultimate delay. But the back rise is a tricky one. It's the one that we don't really use that much. And if you catch people back rising, it's really good, really powerful. So. Again, wake up three frame and back rise this time. He did back rise, didn't he? Yeah, so he's back rising now. So we'll start from the top. Like it Tatsu, two hits. Uh, interesting enough, this one, it's with a like it Tatsu and then it's a six frame. See that? But if you notice, the range is a little. You're not point blank there if you look, so. That whiffs. So this is guaranteed, but it's for probably more advanced players to use this. So the Like It Tatsu, two hits, okay. You normally do heavy punch DP anyway in that situation. Not at, not at range, not if... It's mainly, you'd get that okay set up like this, like that. So if I want, I'll explain why I did that in a minute. If you want, to set something up, you know, a bit, a bit tricky. That's why you go for that. So, situation, you trying to think. Even that misses as well. That's a count hit combo. So, where what you'd follow up with after the crouch and melee punch count hit would be. Can't even do it now. That link is one thing, and. And that as well. That's a that's a, a link. Heavy punch DP. You can do EX as well. And that as well. You wait for the crouching media punch animation to end. You confirm if it hits or not, and then you cancel into not cancel. You link into Dragon Punch or CA. The best one is CA. I, it's it's very react reactable. The Dragon Punch does work, but it's a, because it's at range. It's a bit risky. Very easy to do that. So people that aren't quite that level, probably V trigger activation after that. Um, there's not really much you can do otherwise. That will miss as well. That will miss. You could do, you could do that, I guess. That's a cancel, not a link. So yeah, it's not the best setup, but again, you won't get too too good to like your Tatsu and then go for a back rise setup anyway, back rise meeting. What you will do is, is you'll do this. If you um, get the two hits. Um, okay. All oh, right, interesting. That doesn't look guaranteed. On my chart, it says it's guaranteed, but clearly it's not. Okay, maybe with the light punch, not the light kick. No. Hmm. That's too slow. So it looks like you, okay. So with this setup, it looks like you have to do, if you want it guaranteed, you have to whiff a four frame and do a little walk. And when I say little, I mean tiny. Tiny walk. And then flood the kick. So that's not a guaranteed set of that one. We, what we often do as Ken players is we... We do... Oh, okay. There you go. The back row is dash, flood the kick. I didn't realize that was guaranteed. I thought they could kick you out of that. Yeah, that's the height when that happens. B trigger that would work. So yeah, we've figured that one out on the fly. So dash forward, um, thunder kick. If they quick rise, you're screwed. So yeah, it's a, again, one I'm not too keen on this. Um, Mini Kitatsu, dash dash 9 frame, two, sorry, Mini Kitatsu, 2 hits, dash dash 9 frame, which is standing heavy punch. 
That's guaranteed. Um, funny enough, that one is for overhead. Is dash heavy kick, um, thunder kick again? Yep, same. Uh, medium kick tattoo three hits. Um, meaty light kick tattoo five frame. Interesting. That's guaranteed. You can. I'll show you what I mean when I say these links are tight. Oh. Why did I not put six frame there then? I'd say that's better actually. Go with six frame. Oh, you know what it is? I know why I've chose that. I'll explain in a second. So you see there? Four frame is not consistent. It's actually coming out too early. Five frame is a sweet spot, so it's the quickest meter you can do in that situation that will hit in time perfectly. The reason why I've gone for that is because if you make an error, let's say if you, if it, because of lag or, you know, um, yeah, it's online quality, if you go for a six frame, it might be a little too late. So I've gone for the quickest bulky meter there you can go for. So you got you got the choice, you can go five frame, go six frame, but if you definitely don't want to miss online, that medium punch is the one to go for. But of course, that's harder to confirm. So you can do with the like a tattoo. You can do six frame as well. So that's that. Heavy kick tattoo, dash nine frame. We all know that one. Um, raw as well. Works. Um, thunder, uh, thunder kick as the overhead for that situation. Um, I think it hits every situation. It's not just for juggles, everything. I should mention as well, going back to Miyuki Tattoo 3 hits. There's no um, overhead setup for that. Uh, EX Tattoo, dash dash, 4 frame seems to be the best. I did a lot of testing with this and that seems to be the best situation. You can see that works there. That's the best 4 frame setup to go for as well because of the range on it. That's pretty good as well. That's a count hit one. I'll show you that as well. But it depends. if that's not count hit, it's not going to combo. That's that. So that was EX Tatsu. Back rise. Dash dash four frame. Uh, if uh, you can get a dash thunder kick as well as the overhead. That'll be worth mid screen. That doesn't look like it's going to work for me at all, that. Hmm. Dash? I don't know, you know. Yeah, dash. I think dash medium kick is the one to go for. Not dash, I was gonna say, yeah. The dash back medium kick. Hmm, but you're very close. See, some of these situations, I think EX Tats is the only one. Because they throw the opponent so far, the the Oki's, especially if they're back rise, the Oki's best suited in the corner, not so much mid screen. It's not so bad for this actually, it's when you go to V Trigger. You'll see in V Trigger the EX Tatsu throws them so far out. There's not a guaranteed Oki set up for both situations. There are ways for opponents to get out of it. But if they land in the corner, that's when you apply the Oki setups because even though you throw the opponent far out, the opponent's still point blank range. You still get a guaranteed Oki. There's mid screen. It's quick show you. Look at the look at the um, look how far the opponent is. You've got all that ground to cover before you can even meet them. So it's not guaranteed. So we're not on V trigger yet anyway, so don't worry about that. But um Four, dash, 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 four frame, meaty, and dash, back, medium kick, overhead for EX Tatsu, uh, back rise. Heavy punch DP is dash, dash, four frame. Um, you can get V skill heavy punch as well. It says here. Mm -hmm, there you go. 
not guaranteed. That's why there's two. So I guess that might be a grounded setup, but I think dash dash four frame covers everything. Very tight timing, but yeah, dash dash four frame. Um, EXDP is the same, dash dash four frame, back rows. Doesn't look like it to me. Hmm, so does it not work in struggle? Yeah, looks like it doesn't work against uh, Chimboss EXDP. Doesn't work. What did I just do then? Oh, it does work. It's very tight. Okay. Very tight. Hmm. Might have to revisit that one, guys. EXDP. Maybe it's the V-Skill Heavy Punch here. Let's have a look. about that. That's not a good one, guys. Mm. The dash dash four frame. See, this is one of them setups. It's difficult. The dash dash four frame is, is three, three inputs and the quickest solution. And it's just a little too slow. Ken would need a dash 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 three frame there, but he's never three for a proper three frame. Because that'd, that'd be the quickest sequence after a, after a dash dash. Um, the V skill heavy punch is the slowest sequence he can get. It's a it's V skill slower than one dash, and you get the heavy punch, which is nine frames. This is one of the situations where it's very difficult to create an arc self because of the tools you have. You don't want dash dash. 9 frame or anything anything higher than 4 frame because that would be even slower. You could do V skill, you'd want V skill 10 frame, 11 frame, probably, that would probably work then, that's the that's the issue. Um, just trying to think on the fly what you could do there. I'll show you what I mean, if I do dash dash 3 frame, watch what happens now. Not that you'd ever do this, but... Even as trading. Yeah, that's tricky. That's very hard. EXDP, if a back rise, B skill heavy punch. More delay if, if the higher they are in the air, more of a delay. If they're grounded, you don't need any delay. I don't think. No. No delay if they get grounded. If line breaker, yeah, there's a slight, a very, very slight delay. Same with um, like the Tatsu and TV. Slight delay. That's the guaranteed. Oh, it's not guaranteed. That's the setup, but you have to introduce a delay. And this video is supposed to be about no delays. Overhead, you'll need there's some situations where you have to walk forward a little bit. But um, the meaty set setups, I wanted them to be guaranteed. So EXDP finisher events back row is V score heavy punch, but you're open to error, so be cautious of that. Uh, the overhead fat situation is slight walk, thunder kick. So I don't like I don't like slight walks. I don't like gaps, but for this anyway, for this type of bulky setup, for these bulky setups, but it's the best I can find. A slight walk. Seems like it's a moderate walk actually, but not a slight walk. Go. 
probably left it to walk now because he's not in the juggle state. There you, there you go. So you've got to time it depending on what the knockdown is. Um, I hate yeah these these non guaranteed setups I don't like. I would never risk them in, in game to be honest. Anything that involves a slight delay or a micro walk or a, a moderate walk, I don't I don't think they're that good really. But for the overhead, especially thunder kick, you do need it sometimes. Sweep is the last one for this video, guys. That's V skill six frame now. Back rise. And that is guaranteed. And the overhead is, um, it's got walk, thunder kick. Looks like it's a very moderate walk. There you go. It's a tiny step before, tiny walk forward. That's too big. That's, it's almost instant to be honest. Yes, yeah, so it's not. If you do it straight away, it doesn't work. Just input forward, then thunder kick. So look at my look at my inputs. Do that. Walk thing, then thunder kick. Don't do, don't do that. That's instant. See the difference? You'd have to really watch that. But if I do it again, the micro walk. So this is me pressing forward and kick together. And then I'm going to separate the inputs forward, then kick, foot forward, hold, and then heavy kick. That's the difference. So hold forward, then hold, then press heavy kick. Job done. That's it, guys. So that's non V trigger back rise covered in a lot of detail. There are a few loose ends there, but I've explained why we can't cover them because there's no situation Ken can get a definitive OK because of his frame data. So. The build up to the Oki setup is usually one dash, two dash, or V skill. And where you can't get any th any of those three to work, you've got to use delay timing, unfortunately. But yeah, that's that one done. So we're two down, two more to go, guys. Cool. Catch you later.